A quarter of people with a learning disability spend less than an hour outside their home every day because they don't have the support they need. We're here to change that. I'm Jane, Andrew and John's sister. Twins, but both very different. They're both autistic with learning difficulties and both have mental health problems as well with depression and paranoia. Dad took early retirement to help Mum with Andrew and John and then um, Dad died of cancer. So Mum then was left on her own with Andrew and John and um, she struggled. So that was when she called in Mencap to help support her. John was the one that was most upset. Andrew was quite like the idea that he, he was going to be an independent gentleman living in his own house. Could make a cup of tea, go out in the kitchen, you know, these things that he could suddenly do for himself. I think it was hard for her, but she knew that it was the best move for them in their future years because she knew that she would not be there for them. Mum obviously passed away. Uh, very, very upsetting for Andrew and John, but on the, the day before she died, the staff brought Andrew and John to her and John bought all his teddies and laid them all around Mum's bed and um, I stayed on with Mum. And then as soon as Mum had passed away, I ran the men cups, I rang up the men cup staff and they were absolutely brilliant in supporting them through everything. In fact, they've supported me as well. Where are you going, John? Oh, you're coming. <laughs> you're coming. Right, right, we're talking about the staff, okay? Yeah. I'm Laura Miller. Um, I've been working with Andrew and John for about four years now. If they were in a house on their own, then they wouldn't wash up, they wouldn't eat properly. Their hygiene would be terrible because they don't like to do things like that. They do it with them, and that is the difference. Not for them, but with them. How many cups of tea have you drunk today? Four. No, more than that. Okay. They both like going to cafes, they both like going on day trips. We go different places like Longleat, Sometimes they do have challenging behaviour. First of all, obviously, we need to ask him what's wrong. I mean, today, he didn't know to begin with. So I took him to one side afterwards and I said to Andrew, I said to him, you need to tell me what's wrong. I said, if you don't tell me, I can't help you. And in the end, he managed to come out and tell me. And it was something sort of quite simple to be able to resolve. It was because he's going to buy something on Saturday. And he thought that it was today. So I had to just explain to him that it's only two more days that he got the wait to go buy it. And he was fine off it. If we went there, um, I think that their lives would probably be quite isolated. They wouldn't get to go the places that they do go and be able to have the freedom that they have, really. Which is one of the most saddest things that would ever happen in my life with these lads. And I've watched them grow up to be very independent young men. I'm always making things at bar food. Who helped you make this? I made it from, um, from Steve. Steve, did you? Help Steve, make that? yeah. Right. How long did it take you, John? A long time. And I was getting so excited because I didn't see it, did I, being made? And I was so excited when you bought it home. Yeah. Yeah. I made a promise to my mum that I would always, always be there for both Andrew and John, and which I have done. I mean, they put a smile on my face every single day. They're just great guys. And I've seen them prosper since they've been working alongside with Mencap as well. Good life. Yeah, right. good life you have, yes, yes, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> John and Andrew are the lucky ones. There are so many others who are stuck at home, isolated and lonely. Text MENC135 to 770 to donate £5 and help men cap support people like John and Andrew to live a good life too. Thank you. <laughs>